What is up YouTube people? Kuda Malloy here coming at you with another exciting video. And this is another video in the in the series I'm calling Best Bang for the Buck. Okay, so Thermapro TP19. As you can see, it runs off of one AAA battery, obviously. Uh, it's kind of cool that they give you this, uh, this uh, suggested meat temperature thing. Let me explain something to you right off the bat. There is some writing under here that I don't want you to see, and that's the reason why I put the tape on. It's not because this thing is broken or anything else. Uh, same back here. I've got some writing there that I just don't want you to see, and that's why the tape is there. So let's continue on with the video. So uh, Thermapro TP19 or the TP19, why is this on the best bang for the buck list? Well, it'll read temperatures from minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit right there by pressing and holding this button, which I will demonstrate to you in a second. Uh, looking at that suggested, you know, recommended internal temperature, it shows you beef, medium, beef rare, pork, well, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's got these two, or it's got this, uh, yeah, skid thing here and skid thing here, meaning that if you put this on a countertop, you know, it's harder to move it around. So it doesn't, you know, naval use, boat use, marine use, it's not going to go sliding all over your countertop, right? Uh, at least not without any significant amount of force. Uh, there is a lock button. And I'll explain that to you in a second as well. So let's turn it on. The way you turn it on is you just pull this thing open, ah, pull open, and now it's on. And it's reading 82 or so degrees Fahrenheit. That's ambient room temperature. It's pretty toasty in Los Angeles right now, let me tell you. Okay, so let's get into it. So basically, uh, let me first demonstrate um, the ambidextrous feature. So if you're, if you're using it this way or if you turn it, it'll flip. So, man, 808 was, I had to get to that. Let me hold this thing so it'll give me a different reading. Okay, so 80.4, and if I flip it, 80.4.6, you get the idea, right? It'll, it'll automatically turn over. The Celsius button, which was here, you have to press and hold it. So if I, if I start the temperature, let me push now, and you can see it went to Celsius. And if I push it again and do that, it goes back to Fahrenheit. Okay, the lock button. Why is this lock button important? So let's say you take some weird angle to get into your ribs, turkey, you know, whatever's barbecue, something in the oven. And and the minute you pull the thermometer out, the, the temperature's gonna change. Like you can see this thing's going nuts just by like right now it's touching my thumb and it's giving me, you know, it's going from 83 watt ver, and then you take it out, and two seconds later the temperature changes. So I want to know what the temperature was and, and at least for a couple seconds know what the temperature was. So what you do is you put your thermometer in and press that lock button. So let's say I had my my meat and my thermometer in the meat and I push the lock button. I'm now going to get a lock symbol right there. So it's 82 degrees. And then after a couple seconds, it'll go away. So it'll, it'll go back to reading, uh, which is a really cool feature. Because like I said, if you're at some weird angle, that'll kind of that'll kind of help you along. So... The other part of this video, that's basically all the features, and then to turn it off is basically you just close it up again. Uh, but the other part of this video that I wanted to do was this real-world test between room temperature water and water that had some ice in it. And the one thing that I haven't seen anybody tell you in these videos is when you put the thermometer in there, do not touch the ice, because if you touch the ice, you're going to get an inaccurate reading, right? So let's do this the right way, the way it should be done. We're gonna start with the room temp water, right? That read it pretty damn fast, 78.1 degrees. And now let's see how quickly it goes to the ice water. So if I take this out, this is all in real time, and whoop, we stick that in there. 49.5, pretty damn fast. Okay, now if I go back to the room temp water, whoop, And you're at seven set, lucky seven, 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 right? Well, now we're at seven, seven, nine. And then if we go back to our ice water, pretty damn fast, 50 degrees. And then let's go back to room temp water. We're looking for that seven, 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 baby. <laughs> There you go, boom. I think I just wanted the craft table, 779. All right, so you guys get the idea 
Um, it's wet, so this thing's gonna go, this thing's gonna be reading all over the place, evaporative cooling. Let me just shut her off. Okay, so uh, one other cool thing I forgot to tell you guys about was um, this whole battery plate here is has a rubber like seal around it. So you could theoretically, you know, with dirty hands, barbecue sauce in your hands, uh, take this thing and, you know, wipe it down with a wet paper towel. That's what I recommend to clean it off. Um, if you had to, absolutely had to, you could run this under, you know, some cold uh, water underneath the faucet to, to clean it off if you had to. I'm not recommending doing that. I think the manufacturer says that you can do that if you wanted to. But like I said, I'm definitely not recommending it. Um, so there you go, guys. There is the Thermapro TP19 runs off a of one AAA battery, which which they provide you with, which is awesome. So in the packaging, it comes with the battery, so that's kind of nice. Uh, there is a link to the product below. There is also a link to subscribe to my channel, and there is yet also a link to please like this video, which I'm asking you guys to do. Cooter Malloy here. I will catch you on the next one, and stay tuned for more Best Bang for the Buck product reviews.